leaders, to your civil society representatives, to your global citizens, a warm welcome from my office in Seoul, Korea. Thank you to Dr. Dino Patti Jalal, Chairman of Foreign Policy Community of Indonesia, and Michael Sheldrick, co-founder of Global Citizen for hosting this important day of multinational dialogue. The theme of this global town hall is a very crucial one, elevating the voices of various stakeholders. This is our world too, a north, south, east, west dialogue of civil societies. Over the next 15 hours, world leaders, civil society groups, and global citizens worldwide will immerse themselves in an inclusive dialogue on the state of the world and discuss key issues on a grassroots level. As we are all sadly aware, the world is currently facing numerous challenges, such as worsening climate change, followed by a looming food crisis, extreme poverty, health crisis, the global disruption to education, and more. All these disasters that we witness have consequences far beyond their immediate impacts. We must stand up for a world where we can all have safe, prosperous, healthy, and equal lives. This is why at the Ban Ki-moon Center for Global Citizens, which I co-chair with my dear colleague, Heinz Fischer, the former president of Austria, we focus on programs which target the most vulnerable people in our world, women and youth. We advocate with world leaders and empower the next generation of leaders to create and implement solutions towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals and the targets of the Paris Climate Change Agreement. We all need to do more to support the most vulnerable of our communities and get to what really matters, positive impact on lives and livelihoods. I must underline that the climate crisis is the biggest target exacerbating the multitude of alarming global issues. Climate change is fueling a global hunger crisis. Without urgent action now, the world will fail to adapt to the impacts of climate change as needed, and further billions of people will go hungry. In this regard, I want to reinforce my call for increased financial and political commitments to build the resilience of smallholders farmers, particularly women and youth, who urgently need our support to adapt to climate change. Agriculture is both a major contributor to the causes of climate change, as well as heavily affected by it. Many of our current methods within agriculture and the food systems are forcing the world down an increasingly unsustainable path. We urgently need innovative approaches that address the current food crisis and meet the demands of a changing climate. The world's largest publicly funded agricultural research network CGIAR is committed to tackling these challenges. They deliver solutions that help the world achieve its ambitious climate targets while protecting those most affected. The global community must seize this moment and support agricultural research and innovation now. If we really want to tackle the climate crisis, we need to put the people at the center 
of our conversations and efforts. Smallholder farmers are at the forefront of climate change. We need to carefully listen to their needs and incorporate the knowledge they provide while supporting their resilience through resources and innovation. World leaders must increase their political and financial commitments, including to food systems, by doubling the climate adaptation funding, a promise given many, many years ago. I hope the discussions today will help identify the opportunities to create and sustain inclusive, resilient, and sustainable solutions for the future of the people and planet. I count on all of us to increase the ambition for action. I wish you all the best and thank you for your passion and leadership. Thank you. Thank you.